Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World on the PS4. This is episode number 22. So in the last episode, we started to rectify a wrong that we had discovered the past few episodes in that I went in and found all the amber bricks, or most of the amber bricks. We've now got a few left and we're going to quickly do them in this episode. But first I wanted to do a quick detour which involves coming down here. And you, if you've watched the, the Let's Play so far, or the, the last episode, I kept saying that we're approaching the point and we've actually passed it now where we can buy the next red brick but we don't actually have it yet. So what we're going to do is get this Pteranodon and I didn't check what how to get this before, uh, before doing it but I'm just going to hope for the best and I think, I think it's up here. Where is it? Is it not? Is it not up here? It's up the top here, but why can I not get it? Do I need to like land somewhere first or I need to like come at it from a different angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I needed to do. Shame, but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I fell off. Okay. So now that I know what to do, roughly, this this is a pain to get. By the way, I'm I'm going to say that before I even start, just so that you know, I do not enjoy getting this. And there we go. Okay, and I want to. Nope, I want to pull this. Why is it not letting me pull it? There we go. Okay, pull that. Switch to the small dinosaur, go through here, I think, I think, and then let it go? No, okay. No, okay, and then, and then, yeah, 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 and then lift it up. Now this is just a pain and a half to understand what what is happening in this. <laughs> and then, and then let it go, right? And then be the little dinosaur going over here. Uh, no, going over here. Fall down here. Be the big dinosaur. Lift it up. And then be the little dinosaur. And then go out here, there we go, okay, so the red brick, there we go, and just to confuse matters further, we are going to switch to the map, and can I teleport from here, even though I'm one of the dinosaurs? Uh, no, I can't, I need to like leave here first, yeah, you need to like watch don't I uh, don't switch to other characters too soon. It's kind of annoying that I need to leave here in order to I mean you know what I'm doing. I'm going to buy the the red brick but I pressed the wrong button. Um it's annoying that you can't just buy it from the, the menu. You need to actually go somewhere because it would have been super convenient and now that I'm thinking about it, I could have done that after I got the next dinosaur and then I wouldn't have needed to teleport between the two, but oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so then we go up here and we're like, you know, we're getting all the studs, but we go in here and go to the next one, score times six, and we buy it, and then we go into extras, 
and activate that. Like I said, I turned off Destroy on Contact. Well, I turned that off the last episode, so I'm, I'm just recording these in order, so... <laughs> you know. But then, yes, you can see that now we are we are getting the studs pretty quickly. Um, we're still not quite at, um, why is it, hang on, have I, have I definitely activated it? Is that, is it 48? Oh wow, okay, it's, it's less than what I thought, but then we've got 8 and 10 still to get, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I was like, yeah, <laughs> 40 isn't massive, but yeah, the, in this game, they are fairly close together, like the, the amount of studs you need just goes up by a million each time. So obviously, like, you get that amount much quicker each time. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the bird cage and actually do the level. So free play and pteranodon nests. Now we need... Um, well, we need a character that can do, that can climb rocks, but other characters are quite useful, and we need a few characters, we need a few different types of character. I always like these little mini dioramas. So then, we have the Pteranodons, which we have just been in. It's quite fun that the... Yeah, there we go, the true survivor comes up so quickly now because, like, we didn't get it in the whole of playing the, the level and this is just one section of it and we didn't get it the last time and now we get it really quickly and again, that's just 48, it, it goes up much further than that. So, we want to be Billy, there we go. Took me a second to get him and uh, the echo in this echo chamber. <laughs> Quite loud. <laughs> okay, so we're going around here and Pteranodon is going to snap at us. So we want to come back here, right? Is it back here? Yes, back here. Cut this rope, and we'll we'll quickly knock these out of the park. But some of these ones are ones that I, I would want, even if I was playing. I don't know who can plant or who can water plant. So let's just switch to Ellie that way, and then she's going to be able to do the next bit as well. No, she's not. I want to switch to Billy, because he's going to want to walk on the... Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. He's going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so inconsistent, this, this jumping thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, no. I need to do it at the right angle, but I need to also not fall off. <laughs> it's, it's so inconsistent, it's so annoying. Because it's not doing it every time, like, it's not... It's not like I can go towards it every time, but oh man, this is really annoying. Okay, and I do need to press that, right? Like... No, okay, I'm going to need to switch to another character so that he doesn't do that. There we go, okay, and then switch back to Billy, there we go. Yeah, trampolines are, are annoying in this, very much. <laughs> the echo. <laughs> it's so, like, unrealistically reverby. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we have the amber and we can return to island. And then we, we got 
<laughs> We've almost got a million already. <laughs> That's quite funny. But yeah, they, 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 they go along like that and you're then able to, to buy the next one and then the next one. Um, some of the games in the LEGO series increase the the number of studs by quite a lot more than that. So like you're, you are needing to grind each time you do the, the upgrade. But in this one and a few other ones, you don't have that. Like you, you know, like um, times 10 is 5 million studs. But by the time you've got uh, 400 and, no it's 300 and, 80 to 348 or something uh, times 348 it's not that but like it's you know times 2, 4, 6, 8 by that point you you have you're getting you know plenty of studs to be able to afford the times 10 when it comes along so anyway I'm going to check out what the next dinosaur that I need is and cut to when I am heading there to get it. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Let's go. Okay, so for the next one we are going to want to go to Jurassic World and can't actually remember. Yeah, this one. Free play on Gyrosphere Valley and Gyrosphere Escape. Now we don't have the mini kit in this one either, so if we can get that, then great. If we can't, then that doesn't matter. Um, and obviously, if we don't get it in this one, then I'll just replay it until until we get it. So yeah, that's quite a that's like backstory. <laughs> Okay, so we have done this one in the opposite direction as well, which is which is quite fun. Like we've done the we have been the the um, Indominus Rex on this one. People are it's quite entertaining that that one. Oh, I just knocked down the fence. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Um, I don't know where all the fence posts are. I know that that's what we're what we need to do to get the um, the mini kit. We need to knock down all the fence posts. I don't remember where they all are. Yeah, that's when that's when the characters were saying that you should take you should call for help. Uh, stop taking pictures. <laughs> So I think I've missed it because that arrow is is presumably pointing towards. Oh, and there's there's one of the signs. Okay, I missed that one, and I'm wanting to go up this way. And yeah, I think I've got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've already missed the mini kit, so we might as well leave this and return to island, but. If we were heading, if we were trying to get the mini kit, then we could do, we could just go back in and, and get it. Oh wow. <laughs> After all the grinding I did to get 3 million. <laughs> okay, so the next one I think is, is 4 million, if I remember right. Uh, like the 8 times 8 is 4 million, which kind of makes sense, it's like half the amount, so like times 2 is 1 million, 1 million times uh, 4 is 2 million times 6 is 3 million times 8 is, is 4 million times 10 is 5 million. I think I've said that right. <laughs> I was definitely thinking it right, but <laughs> whether I said it right is another matter. Uh, so I'm going to check where the next one is. Okay, so we continue in the Jurassic World and we go for, is it this one? 
I think it's this one. Yes, Outbounds. And then that kind of kinda looks like the, the visitor centre, doesn't it? I think they've used the visitor centre model from the first one in that, but I mean, it's unfortunate that it doesn't look more like the visitor centre in-game or in the movie, but oh well. Uh, so we are doing free play and we don't need to play parking ga garage, 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 <laughs> in, in my accent. Um, but we do need a character that can shoot, which you normally do when you when you get when you get the character. Um, it's normally when you when you do free play, it normally includes a character that can shoot. But better to better to force force the hand, force that hand than than not. It's funny that it's just like standing there and like growling and it's quite clever they they do like it fades away you'll see it fading away in a second rather than like animate it moving away they just they just fade fade the model away which is I thought that was quite clever but we need a character that can cut vines which Owen can can't he? <laughs> why, why is he not? Why is he not cutting the vines? <laughs> uh, no, Owen definitely can can cut vines. I really don't know why he's not doing it. Okay, let's let's pick Alan, just because we know that Alan can also cut vines. <laughs> uh. Is it is it glitching out or something? It might be glitching out. It's not it's not an impossibility. Okay, we've got true survivor. Yes, it was just glitching out. There we go. Okay. That little detour has given us true survivor. But that's okay. Um I can't remember. Do we need to come over here? I think we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Because uh, let's see if we can get it from here. So, if Barry, no, no, we need to, we need to continue round, and you need to get a slight fright. So just be ready for it. I know that it's coming this time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, <laughs> that was really loud. Like compared to the volume of everything else, that's quite loud. <laughs> Okay, and then we need to cut through here. This is again a good example of the fact that you can choose what part of the level you play. So like, I obviously don't want to do the whole level, but we are going to disturb this butterfly here, who's going to fly to another flower, and then we're going to shoot that flower. And it's going to fly to this third flower over here. Like the poor butterfly is like, I'm getting freaked out with this anonymous Rex stomping around and then you're just hitting every flower I, I sit on with uh, with electricity. <laughs> it's, it's a cruel world. But there we go, did, did I... Oh right, okay, okay. I was like, why why is it not collecting the, the amber? Did I already have it? But no, I didn't. And now I do. So I'm going to return to island. And I'm not sure if that's us. It, it might have been us collected all the... Well, I, I will find out. I will return to one of the visitor centres. I think I'll go to the one in Jurassic World. I don't know if that necessarily takes less time to load, but I guess we'll, we will find out, even though it's got quite a little bit of a walk from here to there. Yeah, so it does it straight away, so you're better to come to Jurassic World visitor centre when you're here anyway. Uh, 
and in here is where all the custom dinosaurs are in here. Is it over here? Yeah. No, no it's not, is it? Uh, but yeah, that, that shows the mini kits, the mini kit progress there. But we need to come in here, which is like the same room basically as the other one. Not basically, it is the same room. So we've got one more dinosaur to collect and I'm going to double check what that is and then come back in a second. So, see you in a second. Okay, how could I not know this one? I I literally had a had an issue with it the last time I recorded, which was a few episodes ago. Uh, we need to go into is it this one, Main Street Showdown, free play, and then go to the Innovation Center, and we need Mr. Hammond. I think is the the easiest character to to get this with. Dino fat just down there. I always think that looks like the bird cage. Like it looks like it's meant to be a bird cage, but it's not. And so we go in here and triangle square triangle to open this door. And we've got some secrets back here. So I think that there's a few secrets back here, I think, if memory serves, and I'm going to aim to get all of them. So take away this and... Open that up. Is that going to deactivate? Yeah. And so we can then get the amber, which is sitting here. And that gets his true survivor. Now I'm going to just continue along here because, well, why not? I, okay, so it's recommending, yeah, Malcolm. Ian, Ian Malcolm, that's the one. Okay, that one, that one. Okay, I didn't see the first one, so I think I'm wrong here. Okay, I didn't see the first one again. The, <laughs> the, yeah, I, I keep not seeing the first one. Okay, the top right, okay. That's why, because I was looking at all the other ones. Okay, no. Okay, that one. That one. Okay, okay. I think I've got it now. Right? That one, that one, that one. So this is... Area 2, which is sequencing. And so that's going to give me a mini kit. And then the next area is something that a computer nerd needs to do. Like uh, Lex. So I need to match up. So yellow goes with, with pink. Goes with this one. <coughs> DNA of pig. Uh, pink goes with the yellow one. Raptor. And white goes with the blue one. They look a bit like cameras. <laughs> New DNA created. And we have another mini kit. So this just means that I don't need to come in here like the next time and I remember that I've, you know, I've not done this or I've not done that. And part number four is hatchery. Now, who do we need to do this? Do we destroy these and then we get buttons from them or something? Considering they're all like hiding from velociraptors, it is quite funny that we we are now a velociraptor. Like <laughs> we we now have that. Okay. I saw a circle, which means that we can build. Okay, is that not? Oh no, no, no! We're moving them, right? We're moving them from the wall to. Okay, okay, I understand. And so they're then going to activate the middle one, which is going to give us another mini kit. Perfect. Okay, so that is five mini kits. 
in that one, which is not too bad. And you will see what the dinosaur is, which if you've watched a few episodes ago, I had a bit of a moan about the fact that I didn't have the dinosaurs and this was like what prompted me to come in and, and get all the dinosaurs, which sorry has taken a couple of episodes, which is a shame. But I have True Survivor and I have a few more mini kits, which I think is actually going towards building the dinosaur that I got with the amber, which is the Mosas Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. And there we go. We have all the dinosaurs in that way, in the, the, their complete form. Which means that you can then like customize them and join them together and stuff with different different parts and different abilities. Um, oh yeah, I am going to get a mini kit, or not a mini kit, a, a red a red brick, a gold brick down here, just because it's flashing and and making it very obvious that it wants to be collected. Now this glitched out on me uh, the last time I played and I can't remember what I eventually did to fix it. But I hope it doesn't glitch out on me now. Okay, I think it's I think it's the same thing that's happening now than happened before. Okay, but I eventually got it. Okay, I think it was like not allowing me to shoot that one. And so I don't I don't remember whether I tried that or not. But um yes, now that I have all the dinosaurs, I'm going to go to do right, okay, so we need to Is it a Okay, ah <laughs> I did I did have a yeah, it's it's the first Jurassic Park. And it is one of the areas, it's um, it's not car caniv uh, ca um, carnivore, carnivore territory. No, I've already got that go uh, that red brick. What's it called? Red brick. <laughs> but, do I, I don't already have the the red brick that I'm looking for, though, do I? No, I think it's I think it's this bit. Hang on, let me just double check. I am going to find this out very quickly and it's here before territory. Yeah, I was right. Okay, so it's there and we want to teleport there. Okay, and then we are heading for the red brick, which I think is in here. No, it looks like it's along the path. Let's go along the path first and then check. No, it's it's in there. I thought so. It looks on the map like it's on the path, but I'm pretty sure we are in the right place now. And so I want to destroy that rock there because we now have enough for the, the next red brick. I know that we it's not too long since we got the, the last one but I think I want my custom stegosaurus. I think I want to be able to roar which my custom stegosaurus is able to do. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I want to do that. I might be wrong, we might find out that I'm wrong, but... <laughs> the rain just starts. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we want to destroy, destroy this with a roar. We might, there might have been, you might have been able to like run into it as another, another dinosaur, but... Where is the fun in that, I ask you? Where is the fun in that? Okay, we want a character that can go into the dark. So Ian is probably 
our best bet for that. And there is the red brick that we wanted. So perfect. So we are going to view map and quickly go to the visitor center map point. Let's try it at night, will we? This is, we've not done this before. Went to a map point at night time. We have, we have seen them at night time, but yeah, it's, it's the map point at night time. <laughs> it's, it's what you would expect it to be. <laughs> so yeah, go in here and buy the times eight. And yeah, like, it was like last episode I got the, the previous one and then we're, we're very quickly going to be able to afford the next one because you can see that with times 384 we get them very very quickly. Yes, okay, so I am going to, because I've not done it in a few episodes, I'm going to just like have a wander and collect things that are on my way. Because especially like this Jurassic Park, um, Isla, Isla Nublar is a very dense place as far as like collectibles and there's just so many collectibles to do. Let's do this race, shall we? What do you need to do that? Is it, is it with a dinosaur? Let's, let's see what it says. It might not see until until we're actually there but I think it's actually a vehicle so let's be a vehicle and yeah this this is when I will oh okay <laughs> it's like driving away from me it might be the velociraptor that you want to be no it just means that okay that's not collectible that's fine and oh, I forgot that these are the countdown ones because I've been doing the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, which very much has count down or count up rather. And like, you know, like when you've, you need to do it in a certain amount of time or else you'll get like a, a couple of studs and it's like the total amount of time usually. But yeah, we seem to have plenty of time to do this because I am going around very, you know, like very carefully but, you know, not speeding along and we seem to have plenty of time to, to get them all. Where's it going to go from here? That's the question. Okay, along here. Did I just go the wrong way? No. <laughs> I thought for a second there I'd went the wrong way. But no. Alas, no. <laughs> yeah, so much for doing so many things. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've got a race. <laughs> and that, that's it. <laughs> There's one of the um, staff members, one of the, I can't remember what you call them, a uh, staff in peril or something it's called. Back there we had rescued it from is it was it compies that were hanging around him? Oh there we go, okay. So we managed to get the gold brick and now what I'm gonna do is is quickly teleport to the day <laughs> because things are a lot less easy to see in the dark and I know that some of this island is already covered in the dark when when it's raining and stuff but yeah so for for the next few episodes I think I'm going to just continue collecting things and you know doing that and then probably when I get the times 10 which I can already Oh, I just realised like how much I can afford it. <laughs> I can really afford <laughs> the times ten. Um, I will probably get the times ten in the next episode, and um, also 
uh, continue with collecting and then I need to start on the I need to get a transfer to one of the cuddlier dinosaurs. Yeah. I need to then um at some point switch to um doing the the levels and playing the levels through uh, and collecting all the collectibles in each level. So we're going to tackle some of that in the next episode. So join us again for another episode of Let's Play Lego Jurassic World on the PS4. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later. Bye bye.